spring break. I'm gonna give you a few pointers if you're going, if you're traveling international. Um, this is gonna be specifically Mexico, and there's gonna be more things, of course, that I'm saying that applies to any place that you go on spring break. Let's start. If you're going on a flight, right, and it's more than two, more than two, three hours, sweetheart. This was like five ninety nine in Burlington, Coal Factory. Get this. When I tell you get it, I mean get it. Because you're going to be tired. You're not going to want to sleep as much because um, you're on vacation. But your body's going to be tired. Your body's not going to be like, oh, you're on vacation, so you're not going to require that much amount of sleep. Bro, sleep on the plane comfortably. Number two, if you're going for a few days, four or five days, get a few different bikinis. Now, I'm not telling you to spend extra money. The reason why I say this is because you go on the beach and then you actually go in the water. Um, sweetheart. When you get out, your bathing suit is going to be smelling like death when it starts drying. Unless you want to wash your bathing suit every single day or every single night after you use it, I recommend you get more than one bathing suit. I recommend getting water shoes because you don't want to step on in, on any creature. We went to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, and um, Tulum. Now, if you go to any of those places on the beach hopefully it's clearer for you guys but there's like four feet between the sand and the water that has seaweed bro i got my water shoes from amazon like two days before for like twelve dollars and it was cute now i'm not gonna show you everything that i got in this video because this is strictly just for some advice I will upload my vlog of my vacation and you guys will see all the things that I did buy and I definitely recommend you guys look out for that video because it's gonna be lit. So anyways, I know they're looking at me like, girl, you got melanin. Yes, I do. That doesn't mean I'm immune to skin disease. Now, I like this for several reasons. Yeah, it's a little bit more than the average that you would cop in Family Dollar or Walmart, but hold up, I got this in Walmart for $10, okay? I'm pretty sure Walgreens is a lot more. The reason why I, I like this in particular, not because it's only a spray, but the way that the spray is, you're able to spray your back by yourself with it. You're able to touch everything with this. And another reason why I like it is because it's travel proof. When I say that is, do you see I'm trying to spray, nothing's coming out? It has this thing where you do two clicks, and then it sprays. Two clicks, then it's closed. Good, because when you put this in your suitcase or like your little backpack when you're going on an excursion or going to the beach, it's not going to spray all over your other stuff and smell weird, you know? I definitely recommend you get in some off. And I'm going to tell you how to use this because a lot of people don't know how to use bug spray and sun um, screen. Y'all just think... I'm going to tell you the trick on how to do this so you don't die. Now, obviously, I got some stuff from Duffel. That's why I have my toiletries in here. If you get some stuff from anywhere that they give you these cool bags, use it for your toiletries. Otherwise, it would spill all over your clothes in your suitcase. Like, I know a lot of people think that that's common sense. It's really not. Don't use plastic bags or get some popping as Ziploc bags. I'm telling you. And don't put the ones, don't put things that can have the possibi possibility to spill as much all in the same bag. Like, don't do that. Like, separate them. Like, in this bag, it's like one thing that can possibly spill. So that's just my, like, I guess, don't get bit and don't get burned protection. Now... The way I say how to use this, when I woke up and I was going on this, excuse me, I was going on this excursion, the first thing I did was actually put the off on me. I didn't get the spray, I got the lotion because I got it in Mexico and it was 54 pesos, which is a, like $3, but everything else was like $15 or $16. Get your shit in America, please. Anyways. But I got the lotion one because like I already have the spray and I feel like I'm spraying both. Like it didn't make sense. So what I did was literally spray this on like, not spray, put this lotion on before I left. Like as soon as I came out the shower and I'm like regular lotion in my skin, I put this like literally like, like that. I didn't like rub it all, all over 
myself like in certain spots like I rubbed a little bit on my hands just so that it would repel you know the things around me but I didn't put it all over my body and I let that soak me for like 10 or 15 minutes then when I got dressed 15 to 20 minutes before I actually went out in the sun I spray this on my skin and I didn't rub it in I just sprayed it on my skin and it gives you a nice little shimmer too so that's what I, w I would recommend to do it that way don't put on sunscreen five seconds before you run out it don't make sense I'm telling you it don't make sense now another thing that I would recommend is to get a first aid kit and when I say a first aid kit I mean like a Pinterest do it yourself I know myself I know what I need type first aid kit because stuff over there that you can get easily over here is going to be more expensive Mexico is a lot cheaper on certain stuff but the things that you need that they know you need they will hike up that price so these are the things that I recommend you get of course I would say get like a ointment spray just in case you get bit or something like that definitely get something like that get some get a few different types of painkillers you can get the little travel pack you can get the ones that be in the bottle you can get your, you know get your own prescription kind okay get a few of those I have motion sickness pills from when I had some flu or some stomach something a while ago that didn't expire I was like I'm gonna need that you never know okay fresh pack of Alka-Seltzer because sometimes you drink and sometimes you eat some shitty ass food in Mexico okay you don't need that back to the shitty ass food some the, I didn't eat any shitty ass food but I'm just saying cuz I yelled the shit out of all the restaurants I ate at but thumbs lifesaver lifesaver this was a dollar 25 I think at Walmart like you need this okay and it tastes good and it's chewable so it's like instant it works you feel it working and you just like thank you Jesus um, I forgot to show you guys this but this should have been in the other bag this is another sunscreen this sunscreen is actually for your face and while I'm on that topic you should only get sunscreen the minimum should be 70 honestly like if I could I would get one if there's 150 bro I'm getting 150 I got the 70 for my face and I put this on my face the same way I said to you guys I put my moisturizer and then I put this on like 15 minutes 15 20 minutes before I went out and I use this specifically for my face and my neck so I'd recommend get one for your body and one for your face because your face is a lot different than your body and my skin all over is sensitive but my face is well sensitive I got this um Sephora super nourishing lip balm beeswax I got that just because I wanted to kind of protect my lips just in case something like you know sometimes like when you just come fresh out of the water or fresh out of the pool you don't really want to put lip gloss on or my NYX or lipstick so I just put this on you know to protect myself from the sun a little bit it doesn't have any SPF but I figured it was a code in over my lip and it's natural so I figured that'd be right and then of course like I have a little bit of like allergy medication some band-aids like a little traveling pack where you have like you know like for your nails I recommend to have all these things y'all think I'm playing you never know some icy it's cool and hot pain relieving thing like for arthritis body pains body aches all of that I recommend that just because sometimes when you go on excursions or you walk a lot more than you have walked in your regular life your, your daily life before back in the day at your other house this back in America I should say Speaking of feet, um, I think the feet was hurting, okay, and I was not happy. And I knew it was going to happen. That's why I was prepared. In most shoes, sometimes girls get bunions and corns and no one wants to talk about this. But you're going to probably go with some new shoes because you want to look bomb and you want to take mad pictures for Instagram and Snap and stuff like that. I recommend getting these. I got the Equate brand from Walmart. So it's kind of equivalent to like Dr. Scholl's or whatever the case is. I put them on my pinkies because I noticed like I would totally just automatically just get like a baby corn like out of nowhere like from wearing one night of shoes. 
and I don't like it even though like it may stay there for like just a few days or months and I reuse them I showered with them you know don't get them too drenched because it does soak up water I just squeeze them and the water will come out and I kept them on on my feet all my shoes were new which is the worst thing to do because if you get new heels and you don't break them in dumb so I got those and I also got the Dr. Scholl's I don't know if I have here I don't think I do, but I also got the Dr. Scholl's little gel things that you put literally at the soles at the sole. So if your feet is like this, you put it like right here. I've got those as well. Then also, I recommend getting a app on your phone called Currency Converter. Now, in Mexico, the currency is different. You understand that. Some places is going to be like 17 pesos to 1 US dollar, which means we make, we our cup were higher like you know what I'm saying some places like 20 or whatever the case is I recommend getting a converter because if you go to a bar or you go to a restaurant anywhere you go and it has a price list calculate it in before you order your food because it might look light to you but when you put that in you might be paying like $50 just for empanada so I definitely recommend getting that app on your phone. It saves lives. And it doesn't necessarily mean like you're broke or you don't have money. It just means you want to know how much you're paying for something. For example, some places have a taco for 75 pesos. When another place has a taco for 17 pesos. You may think, oh, it's a lot cheaper than it would be in America. But it can even be even cheaper. Just because you're willing, like let's say something is $10 in America. And you see, for hey, oh, that's cheaper. They some places if it's like in the touristy areas which you kind of want to be it's going to be a little bit more expensive but if you go a little bit to like the little mom and pop stores you're over like oh i could get it for five i could get it for six and it might taste even better because somebody's abuelas in the back there cooking chef and up make sure your plan on your phone is okay with you going to mexico ask them what needs to be done for you to be able to text and talk in mexico see them today I know with T-Mobile, you're okay. I know with Metro PCS, you're going to have to pay $5. Um, I don't know about the rest, but you do have to unclick Data Roaming so your phone can roam so that you can get access to everything. But you don't want to be coming back from your bomb-ass trip and having like a $400 bill. Just call your mobile carrier and ask them what their policy is with you traveling international, specifically to Mexico. If it's too much money and... Too much money for you to get that on your phone just I'm sorry sweetheart but you just this is what you're gonna have to do you're gonna only have to use your phone when you have Wi-Fi make sure your data roaming is off and just take a shit ton of pictures upload them to snap yes it's gonna fail but when you excuse me when you get back to your hotel or your Airbnb or wherever you're staying your resort you'll be able to upload it yes it will be a little bit later but you'll still have those you cannot flush toilet paper or anything in the toilet. I know you're like, well, what are you talking about? You can't. Your toilet paper has to go in basura. Like, you have to put it in the garbage. Like, you can't put it in the toilet. We learned that lesson the hard way. The first place we thought, we were like, okay, y'all just being cheap, y'all got a plumbing issue. We ain't gonna throw it in. All right, I see you. Second place, it didn't really mention it. We stayed at three Airbnbs, and like I said, you'll get more in-depth information if you watch the vlog video of our vacation, birthday and vacation situation. The second place didn't really stress not to put stuff in the toilet, so we thought, okay, one of us. I don't know, for some reason, every place that we got to, my boyfriend felt like he needed to take a shit like in the first 10 minutes that we got there. Sorry, babe. But yeah, so the second place that we went to, or the third place, I don't remember. He did that, and he put toilet paper in the toilet. Um, it got stuffed up, and it smelled like shit for the rest of our stay. There's nothing that we could, like, it just did. Like, we didn't put toilet paper in it anymore. It just smelled like shit for the rest of the stay. Don't drink any of the water. I know some of you guys know this, but some people don't. Don't drink any of the water in Mexico. Unless it's bottled. A lot of people stay outside of the airport and like touristy places and say, oh, I have a good deal for you and stuff like that. If you can't see their store right there, if you got to cut through here to take a back turn to go to the back, no. No. 
listen, you do not want to, you do not want to put your mother through heartache because you want to save some coins and you got lost somewhere or kidnapped. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Everybody seemed taken, right? Just be observant more than anything. See if people are clocking you. Don't share taxis with people besides the people that you're with. Don't take drinks from random people. I don't care if you saw him the night before. Don't, just don't do it. Just be very, very, very careful. If it's five of you girls going out, not all five get drunk. Like, sorry, my fingers is wild. Crazy. Stop enjoying this situation. Don't. Like, someone needs to be alert at all times. Like, you're going to another country. And I know you want to have fun, but, like, just don't be all over the place where you're having so much fun and you forgot Lucy went over here and then Yolanda's over here and then Emily over there. Like, stay together. Stay together. Don't go to no person, place after if you don't know them from whatever place you came from. Just be safe. Also, they do not have Ubers. They don't have Ubers in Mexico anymore. I'd recommend getting a car, especially if you're over the age of 25. But if you're not, I don't know what the fees are. But I just want you to know that if you book it, it might seem wild cheap, like $25 or 54 cents a day, and the total is $5. Our total was supposed to be like $35. At the end, they charged us about 11 times that it came to 300 and change, almost $400. Mind you, when we went to the counter, it was supposed to be 25, 35 or something like that. They then told us like, oh, you have to add insurance. It could be 100 and change in insurance with partial insurance or 200 and change with full insurance. Do the full insurance and then ask about gas. Ask about how should I bring the tank back? Show them how much it is in the tank. If you see any scratches, anything that doesn't, that's not in the car, that it didn't look like it came factor from the factory like that, take a picture of yourself, a close-up picture, because they take pictures from far. And then when you bring the car back, they're like, we don't see any damage when we first take the pictures. I was like, sweetheart, that's why I took it on my phone. Because y'all trying to play people. Y'all had, they had like a few scratches and some paint specs on it. I took a video and make sure and take it with something that has a time stamp. Because they will say, oh, you caused this damage to the car. So I definitely recommend be very, 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 what's the word, diligent, um, thorough, smart. It doesn't matter if people tell you be you're being extra. Be extra because they will charge you a lot of money. They will. So just for real, ask so many questions before you get the car. Because when you check out, they'll have a story about this, have a story about that. Gas is about $4.50. If you don't want to go the car route, I'm happy we run the car route because we stay in three different places, like I said. And then on top of it, if you're staying, like, the airport is in Cancun and we drove to Playa del Carmen, that's about an hour drive. If we took a taxi from the airport, it was going to be $100 one way. And we needed to make that trip at least twice. So really think about it. Um, if you're staying at an Airbnb, ask your host, hey, can you pick me from the airport? Don't think, oh, I'll just grab a taxi from the airport. To go 15, 10, 15 minutes, they charge us $54, and they said that was um, a deal. We saw they had a list, and they were charging $64 just to take us. Just to take us to go 10, 15 minutes to our first um, Airbnb. So I recommend that you really ask your host if they can, if they could arrange any transport, or even ask your hotel, is there a shuttle that we could take? Because I'm pretty sure it'll be a lot cheaper. Don't wait last minute to get your taxi from the um airport they're going to charge you wild bread wild pesos and that's all folks like i always say remember to love yourself